artwork is such an important element to enhance any type of space and it can easily add personality into your home. However, choosing the right one for your home and your style might be a little tricky. So if you want to know how to pick the right art painting for your space that is going to blend cohesively, this video is just made for you. So today I'm going to give you tips for how to choose art paintings for your home and also 7 things to know before you select your wall art. I hope you enjoy watching this video and find it helpful. Without further ado, let's start! Welcome to my channel. I hope you are all doing well. My name is Salan and I am architect. On this channel, I do videos about interior design to help you use your space wisely and also give you a perspective from an architect's eye. Before we start guys, I just want to say thank you to each and every one of you for supporting this channel from the beginning and recently we have reached 1k as you can see and it really makes me feel happy and again thank you so much and I want to make a Q&A video for 1k special so if you have any questions about your home, about your space or basically about me you can drop them in the comments below or you can send them to me via Instagram messages and I will answer all of them in my future videos. So please continue to support this channel because I really enjoy connecting with you here and create videos for you and I want to do more. I think this is one of the most important things that you should think about when you choose art paint for your space. You should always choose something that inspires you and also evokes some kind of feelings inside you. Having some kind of connection with the art paint in your space is really what matters so going for an art paint just because the artist is really popular or it is something that is a growing trend doesn't really mean that it's the best option for you because I feel like art is such a subjective area and it's not really possible to have a meaningful or deep connection with any type of piece and that's completely fine. So if any type of painting makes you feel excited that is the right one for you and you should definitely go for that. When you choose your art paint, you should always consider the function of your room because this can help this art paint to blend smoothly within your space. For example, if you want to choose an art paint for your bedroom or even bathroom, you should always go for something that makes you feel calm and relaxed rather than the ones that can drag you into chaos. And also, instead of creating a gallery wall, I would suggest you to go for one piece in your bedroom. And of course, this is my personal opinion. And if gallery wall is something that makes you feel happy, you can definitely go for that as long as you put all the paintings together in a cohesive way that is not going to make your eyes look tired or make you feel chaotic. that I would suggest you to go for similar color schemes with your art paints in your bedroom to again make you look cohesive but always take advantage of different hues so that it doesn't look boring. On the other hand, if you want to choose an art paint for your living room, you have much more flexibility because it is a much more chilled place. So if you want to make a statement with your art paint, you can go for a contrasting color or contrasting style and that will just look perfect in your space. So at the end of the day, it all depends on what kind of approach do you want to take about art paintings. But always remember that the function of the room is really important when you decide your art paintings if you want to create a nicely and also also intentionally designed spaces. Another really important thing is to check the size of the art on your wall in order to have a better understanding of that piece in your space because as we all know scale is really important and you should always make sure that it's not going to look out of scale. 
Now, for you to do that, you can basically check the size of the art painting online and you can create a basic surface with tape with the same measurements to see if it's going to give you the vibe that you are looking for in your space. And also don't forget to hang your art painting around your eye level. So let's say you are going to hang it on your entryway, which is a place that you are mostly stand. It's okay to hang them higher. But if you want to hang them in your living room where you are mostly going to sit and chill, it's better to hang them lower. So always make sure to check that one because it can easily change how you perceive the art painting in your space. this video don't forget to hit that subscribe button right now and join this community that we are growing and also please like this video so that I can know what you are really feeling about it this one is very important guys you should always research the artist and choose a piece that you can relate the story behind it Every artwork is unique and they always have a story behind it and it's great to understand why the artist expressed himself or herself in that painting in that way and is it something that you can relate on a deeper level. I know this might be a little bit tiring compared to going to a shop and choosing a random paint that you kind of like but trust me if you do it this way this will add so much more personality into your space. You can also search your local artists and support their work as long as you can connect with their paintings because I feel like this is also a time that they kind of need financial support so I feel like it could be a great exchange. Before you buy any kind of artwork, you should always consider your existing decor in your space to see if it is going to blend with that or not. Because we always aim to create cohesive spaces and if you choose something that doesn't really match with the theme of your room, it will just look awkward unless you try to make a statement with that piece. For example, if you want to get a painting for above your console table, think about how it is going to look with the decorations on your console table and if it is going to blend or not. Or if you want to get a painting for a wall that has already have some decor, think about how they would look next to each other and if it is going to look nice or not and also check their scale because it's really important to create a space that has a harmonious feeling. When you buy paintings for your space, I would advise you to invest in good quality pieces and the reason is that artwork is not something that we have to change on a regular basis and we most of the time want to use it in the long term. Plus, no one wants to get a piece that they fall in love and after a few weeks it's going to fade or cause another problem. So always make your money and invest in good quality pieces that you can use for the long term. And trust me, you can see it as an investment because it's really worth the money. Now, this one is not directly about art paintings, but it is more about how you represent them in your space. I personally enjoy being bold with artwork and also with frames, but just be careful when you choose your frames, because the last thing that we want to have is to highlight the frame rather than artwork in our home. So if you want to use bold, colorful frames, always make sure that it doesn't get ahead of the main work. You can use thinner frames if you want to go for bold colors or if you purchase an artwork for your bedroom, you can even go frameless because sometimes frames might be a little bit tiring for eyes and we don't really want to have that in our bedroom. Do you have a favorite artist and what type of paintings do you enjoy using in your home? Drop it in the comments below and let me know. But overall, I hope you like this video and find it helpful. If you do so, don't forget to hit that subscribe button right now and tap that notification bell to get notified every time I release a new video. I offer architectural and interior design services on my website. So if you need any kind of help with your space, you can contact me from there and I have various interior design 
packages for on-site projects in London and also online design packages for international clients for easy and quick design. You can also follow me on Instagram at Salen Architectural Design for daily inspirations and again, don't forget that I want to make a Q&A video so if you have any questions about your space or basically anything else, please send them to me on my Instagram or you can also drop them in the comments below on this video. Thank you so much for watching and please stay safe until I see you next time. Take care. Bye-bye.